Hello and welcome to this video. Richard Okere Jr. here. I want to show you how you can create a MailChimp landing page in case you are creating a, a, um, a webinar page where people can register for your webinar or you are create, giving away free material, a free stuff, whatever it is that you want to collect people's contact details before they can access that material. This is where you do that and I'm going to show you um, how to set that landing page up on MailChimp. So when you go to MailChimp, you log in um, let's go to our dashboard. So I'll just click on any of this, any of these tools here, Richard, and any of this so I can get to my dashboard. So once this opens, the next thing that you will do is to click on this create button here. Uh, and then you click on landing page here. So you give your landing page a name. So I'll call this um, Teen Relationship Webinar. And then select your audience is basically the how you categorize people or contacts based on their interests or purpose. So I have various lists of audience here and your contacts, people who fill this form or this landing page or register Will be saved under this audience so i'll just leave it where it is and click on begin you can just click here and select any audience if you have a free account on mailchimp you will automatically put you only have one audience and everybody will be under that audience okay so i'll just click on begin so on the next page what you have to do is to select the template or kind of the design that you want. So MailChimp already has templates. So all you have to do is select the template and then edit it. So I'll scroll down. I typically like to use this last template. Let me scroll down. Okay, I'll scroll down. So this is the template I want to use. This is grow your list. Um, it's simple for me, easy to use. So I'll just click on it and then I can adjust it and add things as I want. So I'll click on this. All right. So this is how it looks. Uh, what I'm going to do now is to start editing it. So what I will do is first to change, add the logo, add the headline, and adjust all these other things. So first thing, add the logo. So I'll click on um, edit block here, then click on replace. So I uh, can click this button here, upload, and then um, select the logo from my computer and it will be uploaded here. Okay. So this is the logo. So if I click on this and click open, it just upload, but I already uploaded it. So here it is here. So I'll just cancel this, select this. So um, it's coming out as this big. So I'll just use this image display to reduce the size to 10 and it's fine like that. The next thing is your headline for your webinar. Click on edit block. So your web headline, you want to make it catchy. You want to make it um, enticing for the people that um, will register for this webinar. That's what calls the attention. So I'll say something like free webinar um, reveals how you can equip your teenager to make the right relationship decisions and yeah, right relationship decisions, something like that. So typically I like to, you know, uh, make this free webinar bold and italics and uh, uh, on the line sorry and then i might change to make the right decisions make it bold and then put the color as maybe blue or red any one of them i'll go red this color here okay so this is the color works well for me um you might play around with the colors as you want that's it then i'll click on save and close here Next thing will be this description here. And typically under the description, I like to put what they will learn at the webinar. 
Um, if it's a free material I'm giving out, it's what is inside the material. So I'll click on edit blog. I'll say something like, um, just anything to give more, you know, credibility, more interest, create more interest for the webinar material. So I'll say, um, in this webinar, comma, you learn, um, one, how to whatever, whatever, whatever. Number two, ways to whatever, whatever, whatever. Three, when to whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. So that depends on you. You can write whatever you want to write. Now for the webinar, I typically give a space and I say something like, um, I can highlight all these and select um, this so that it's going to be in bullet points or not because i don't like the way it's showing here so i'll just um remove this and leave it the way it is okay then but you can play around the bullet points you can adjust that that's fine then if it's a webinar i like to put here uh fill the form below to register if i'm redirecting them to a whatsapp group, i like to mention so they will not be surprised when they see the whatsapp redirect um i'll say you be redirected to a what to our whatsapp group okay i'll then um bolding that and italize it okay so this is basically um for this then the other thing i like to do is to put an image just before the form if you have an image it probably design of the webinar you can put that before the form just for um some yeah, just some color and then i'll make sure to click save and close here and then go here and drag it here so here you can find the various things you can add to your to your form so what i want to add is the image so i can just drag this image into this place just before the form okay then i'll click on upload image the same process for uploading the logo but um, I'll click on upload and select it from my computer and extract it. But I was, just want to use this image here. So I'll just click on this image. Or let me just use this one. I'll click on it and select. Whatever image you upload on MailChimp will always be there. So I'll just scroll, um, reduce the size a bit. Um, let's see. This size is okay for me. Just increase the bit. There, this size is okay. Then make sure to click save and close. Then the last thing will be to add my form. I want it to have um, phone number and first name. So it just has email address. So I'll just click on this edit block and then make sure to uh, select first name and select phone number. And I like to make the two of them required. Then the next thing would be if I want to change this subscribe to something else, I'll go to... Um, Oh, I'll scroll down. So instead of subscribe, I'll say save my seat. All right. I want it in all caps, save my seat. If I want to change the color of this button, I'll go to style. Scroll down to where you have background. So I'll click this. You can select any color that you want from here. If you have the exact hex code, or the RGB of the color, you can put it here. Uh, but I want to just use this color, orange. So I'll just select orange. That works fine. I'll click on save and close. Then the other thing also is that how do I redirect people to a WhatsApp group? So if I want to redirect them to a WhatsApp group after they register for the webinar, click on edit block. And then, or any page at all, any page on the internet, or WhatsApp, whatever it is that you want to send them to after filling the form. But typically for a webinar, my funnel is usually send them to a WhatsApp group. Um, then I'll click on that edit block and then scroll down. So instead of showing them a confirmation message, okay, um, you can use this confirmation message, say something like, congratulations, you have successfully registered. Click the link below to be redirected to a WhatsApp group. That also works. So I can say success your um registration is successful 
um, I can say click this link to join our WhatsApp group. So what I'll do is just to highlight this, click on this button here link, and then paste the WhatsApp group link inside here. So I can just select this and say insert. Then I'll bolden it, okay? So this can work immediately they register for the webinar, they will see this, all right? Or um, I can, I, I, the one I want to show you is the one I usually prefer. I will rather change this confirmation message to web address. You don't have to see the congratulatory, the confirmation message. Confirmation message just helps to let them know that it was successful. You know, some people will feel like, was it successful? Did they actually register? But for them to join the WhatsApp group, because of the notice you've put here, they will know that it's successful. So I like to use this one because it's straight up. I don't have to depend on them to click on the link. It just sends them to the WhatsApp group straight up. So what I will do here is just to paste the link to the WhatsApp group. I'll just click there. So that's the link. And then copy the link of the group and paste it here. Then I'll say save and close. So that is sorted. So this is how your link, your, your registration page is looking. If I want to change the color of this, any of the places, any of the backgrounds or the blocks, this is called the block. This is another block where the image is. This is another block here. This is another block. Um, if I want to change the colors, I can just um, click on edit block and then go to style here on the background. I can change the background to let's say yellow or any color that I want. I can maybe want a lighter color you know, any color that I want. If you have the exact hex code, you paste it here. So let me just leave it at yellow just for design sake. Not that I like the color. <laughs> okay, so once I'm done with that, um, that's that's essentially all. I can just click on this preview to preview the page. Okay, okay, so that's the page. That's how it looks. Um, simple, straight to the point, not too much drama. Design, there's the form. So um, you can check the mobile view here. When you are running your ad, if you are doing this WhatsApp redirect, you might want to run your ads to mobile only, not to desktop, okay? So once I'm done with that, um, the next thing I will do is to click on save and close here. Now I can I I'll, I'll just basically scroll down, just check if there's any other thing I need to put here. They just they are just showing you a preview. Everything looks fine. What you need to do here is to copy this link here because this is the link for people to visit this your page and register. So I'll copy the link and save it in Notepad. I'll open up Notepad and paste the link inside it, and then I will publish but i cannot publish my page now because of this error here on my account um so if you are using a free account you'll be able to publish because you wouldn't have maxed out your free contact limits that is given to you on on mailchimp i think they give you 500 at the time of this recording so i've maxed out mine this is a very old account so but you should see publish you hit on publish and your page will be published okay now the last thing you want to do is that you want to customize this link because it looks too long. You will not be pasting this link everywhere. It looks too long to be, to be used like that. You want to customize it. It's optional. Um, I want to go to bit.ly. Okay. So I'm already logged in. If you don't have an account on bit.ly, you can just create an account, log in. Um, once you log in, you can be able to do what I want to show you now. So this account is already logged in. Um, so once I log in, I click on create new here. S click on link, paste the, that long link here. Scroll down on that um, short link. I will reduce the link to Teen Love Webinar. Okay, so I'll remove all this. Now, one thing with Bitly is exactly the way you type it here. That's exactly the way 
it will be, and you have to put it that way on any place that you promote or you put this link. So I'll just see, see all small letter Teen Love Webinar, and then I'll click on Create. All right, so that's the link, um, bit.ly slash Teen Love Webinar. I copy it. So anywhere I share this link, that is where my... Um, my that is uh, people when they click it it will take them to the landing page and then they can register for the webinar okay so thank you very much if you want to see your contacts after registering uh, your contacts for people who have registered for the webinar i'll go to under audience you go to all contacts and then from there you select the particular audience where that you remember when you were selecting your creating your audience your your landing page i was placed to select audience so you select the audience from here and then you can see the contacts below okay so that's it on how to create your mailchimp form i hope this has been helpful thank you very much